Now, since Sue Devaney returned to Coronation Street as Debbie Webster, after 35 years away, she's made mm, not many friends on the cobbles, but now she's learnt about Ray's bribery. Is she finally, finally going to turn it all round? The panel has decided to grant the planning permissions. This is a stitch up. Must be. You bribed the planning committee. No, just the chairperson. I need to know what you said to the police. That had nothing to do with our situation. If you're wrong, we could both go to prison. We win. I'll confess. You all right? What have you given me? She was blackmailing me. Saying she'd send out the footage if I didn't confess to assaulting Faye. You're going to help me get out of this. She killed him? Just like that? Yeah. Just like that. What's taking you so long? Can't just magic a passport up overnight. The development is off. Well, Sue Devaney joins me now. Sue, I'm sorry I've been calling you Devaney and everything, but it's Devaney. It's because I've got a friend who's got that second oh. name. How are you? <laughs> All right, that's all right, because uh, I think a lot of people said Devani, but Devani is, I think I pronounced it like that, because Devani is not actually my real name. My real name is Barbara, but, um, oh. but Devani is uh, my acting name, you see. So I thought it said Devani, but I'm sure everybody pronounces it Devani anyway, but it's fine. Yeah, it's <laughs> lovely. It's really good. Now, look, this is... A... All right. yeah. good. Uh, it's all going on here, though. I have to say it's all going on. I've got the window cleaners. I've got my dogs barking next door, <laughs> so it's very noisy. <laughs> now, look, see when they said to you, come back, come back, come back, we want you back. Um, did they tell you that you were going to try and actually co destroy Coronation Street? Because that's what amounts to. Well, no, uh, no, they didn't. But um, they they said that I was going to be in cahoots with Ray, right? And um, and I thought, oh, that's that's exciting. But I came back. I was doing a tour last year, Calendar Girls, and um, I came back to do six episodes, and then um, they invited me back um, the year later, and yeah. it was just brilliant because it's you know I started off there when I was sixteen, so to actually go back to something that you, you know, that was one of my first jobs was just terrific. And, you know, it's like working with all my own mates and stuff. And it's, it's brilliant. I love it. I remember it. it so, so oh, well. Yeah, so did it just feel like coming home, really? It just felt like, yeah, you, you know, it was, it was easier than, than coming into something that you'd never done before. You know, it's interesting because I've, I've spent a, a lot of time doing theatre. So, a soap is totally different to, to anything that I've ever done before, especially like when I was in it, it was like two episodes a week. So like now it's like, you know, you get your scripts and you can get like 12 scripts in two weeks. And it's like, and the character, you know, you don't think like if you're doing a play, it's a beginning, middle and end. And that's your journey of your character. But on a soap, it's like, oh, she's going that way now. Oh, yeah. she's she's speaking to that person like that now. Is she? Oh, she were friends with her last week, but now she's now she's now she's an enemy. So it's like it's so fast, and it's a totally different genre. But I love it. I absolutely love you it. You can I'm tell. Still... You can tell. It's it's great. And of course, changes have to be made, and um, because of COVID, there's all sorts of things. And I know that that they're so on it. You know, making sure that you're all safe cast and crew are all safe but you did get a chance to to sort of there's a moment with them um, with you and and br your brother of course um, Kevin who's played by Michael in a fridge should have let yeah. you die I was trying to do a good thing you told us he was dead you told us you killed him in the fridge for days and uh, and of course we got um we got tested uh, so we could do you know cuddling up and and um and it, it was lovely, actually, because I'd been working with Mike for, for you know, a few months. And obviously it was like the two metre distance. And of course, as soon as we had the test and we were like in the fridge, we're like, come here, let's have a big hug. <laughs> so you're able to do that. And also you're in a fridge, so you want to cuddle each other to keep warm. That's it, yeah. Well, this was funny because the fridge was boiling hot. I mean, Mike Lavelle does the best cold acting I've ever seen. It was just brilliant. <laughs> But I forgot, you see, because I thought, oh, all these lines. So I was like, oh, it's cold. Then I'd send me lines and I'd go, oh, I meant to be cold. <laughs> it, was, it was very funny. And of course, you know, we meant to get colder and colder and like we just kept adding layers. 
Well, I was boiling, sweat were dripping off me, and I had menopausal moments. So I said, oh, just let me just let me cool down a minute. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> yeah. I hear you and I sympathize. We're going to see that next week. I can't wait to see that and to see what happens. It's so interesting. Can we just talk for a moment about your dolly cushion? That is the best thing I've ever seen. Isn't it the best cushion ever? My ever. friend sent me that. Is I, I'm a big Dolly fan, oh, and uh, he sends me like little presents through the post, and he and he Derek sent me that cushion all the way from York, and I love her. It's, she's fabulous. She's yeah. amazing. I'm going to be I'm going to make you jealous because we're going to be talking to her next week. I can't wait to talk oh, to Dolly. I know, I know. It's like oh, talking to it's like talking to sort of like the queen of everything, you know. Oh, she's brilliant. She is fabulous. You know, everybody should be a bit more like Dolly. I think. Yeah. Exactly. And it's, it, Especially at these times as well now, because it gets, you know, you, you can get a bit fed up, can't you? It's just because it's ongoing. It's like, you know, you, you want to be, you want to go to a party. You want to be, you know, it's all about connection. Whereas in lockdown, it's not, is it? So it's like anything to, you know, like put Dolly music on or <laughs> put your, you know, your favourite music on. Have you seen um, It's the Sin, Lorraine? Have oh. you seen The Sin? the best thing the the best thing it was kind of like it was it was just amazing wasn't it the the bestest thing because that was kind of my life except it was in glasgow mm -hmm. and so i could re yeah. relate to it so so much it was absolutely yeah. wonderful and it and it helped us all and and things you know what i love about you when you were in that fridge i should say you passed the time by singing i mean mamma mia again wonderful in korean in yeah. Korean, but no, no. Please tell me why. <laughs> but my, right, we, we had it, it, the the story. It was written so beautifully, and um, the writer had put, you know, that we were talking about our mother dying, and um, and and uh, Kevin says to to Debbie, well, you know, I remember that I didn't want to go to sleep that night because I I thought when I woke up she wouldn't she wouldn't be here. So you sang Abba songs to me all night. And, uh, and I said, did I? How did I remember the words? He said, I don't know, you just got them from, you, from a magazine. But he said, the one song that I, I sang to him was, uh, If You Change Your Mind, yeah. I'm the first in line. Well, I sang that for two years, touring Mamma Mia, um, an international tour. But we, we went to uh, South Korea and we spent five months in South Korea. And it was the 10th anniversary of the musical. So we sang with the Korean actors and they sang Dancing Queen and and we had to sing it in Korean. Do me so that Mike said, do, do, do me that line in, in Korean Korean. Tell, tell me that just just a wee bit. If, if my uh, if Carl is watching uh, my <laughs> musical idea say, you're not that, that's not the right tune, but um, uh, that's the best <laughs> thing ever on that bombshell. Thank you so much. I need to talk to you again. You're amazing. Amazing. Oh, and Corrie's on, of course, tonight, so ITV. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.